the Savior says, take my yoke upon you. As we take upon us the yoke of Christ by exercising our moral agency to understand the covenants, accept them, and to receive the ordinances, we are yoked with him. Two animals yoked together pull in unison. I wonder if we fully appreciate that simple concept that we are yoked to and with the Savior in the commotion of the latter days. Sometimes I think we can improve our understanding, our individual and collective understanding of the gospel as we get the sequence right. Sometimes we talk about temples. We don't talk very much about the covenants and the ordinances. And unfortunately, we may say precious little about the Lord Jesus Christ. We simply need to invert that sequence, focus first on the Savior, then on the covenants and ordinances that bind us to and with him. Oh, and by the way, we receive those ordinances and covenants in the temple. I'm not trying to minimize the importance of the temple, but it's the Savior first, the covenants and the ordinances, and the temple is the place where we receive them.